Good morning. I'm Derek. And I had wanted to do a gameplay video of the fan game before doing another painting video, but I, um, I really wanted to get started on giving these two a wash. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit. And the other thing that I'm trying to do is I have some music from the game going on in the background. And I guess I can talk about some music and sound stuff for the game a bit. Because anywhere you are in the virtual, in the galaxy, in the fan game, it sounds a little different. So the, the sound is extremely dynamic. And it will change as the warp changes. It will um, I have a favorite brush now for doing washes. And of course all my brushes are different brands so that I can easily tell them apart. So how are we doing on light? little bit better and I've been experimenting a lot on priming I used to when I was much younger when I was 16 I'd uh, I'd prime very simply by uh, just a, a whitewash and it wasn't until I'd been painting for a couple of years, a year or so, before I, I'm going to say two years, painting minis, before I had gone to um, spray paint. And uh, maybe it was at a Walmart opened up nearby and I had easy access to spray paint. So... I have uh, given this guy a very thin wash of uh, just white paint, and then I've um, started to just keep a mix of a black wash, and I'm probably going to make a couple of different colors, but it's just been fantastic. It's been sitting here for days. I shake it up and it's just always ready to go. So I'm really liking that. And I picked up inks. I used to use inks back in high school, many, many, many years ago, because uh, I was given a, a, a nice set of inks and a nice set of rapidograph pens which are notoriously difficult to keep clean. <laughs> and I'm just going to pause for one moment. I'm back. So, give these guys a uh, very thin wash of the uh, white paint or the ink. I'm using the ink uh, now as a first wash. And then... After the ink, i am give it a nice dry brush. So I, I think that got pretty even. I, I really enjoy how we can see where the mold lines on this older model goes. We can we kind of probably see it right here, right here by the shoe. I've not done a very good job. But I, I love how the, the artist has incorporated the mold lines into the shoulder pad design. So I'm, I'm notoriously bad about cleaning up my models. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try to get better about that. But yeah, oh, focus. And maybe we go out a little bit. 
but And I have some water nearby where I can control the density of the black wash that I'm putting on. But right now, it really seems to be perfect to me. And music from the video game. We are... Um, it's not changing very much. The, the warp is always calm in the game right now. I have a shadow in the warp, which is very interesting. It makes makes seeing anything near or behind very difficult, as it should be. <laughs> and I was, like I said, I wanted to do a nice video about our gameplay vid. and do a, a painting video next week, but I was just too, too happy for these guys. So the plan is, I think, that he, I don't know, if, I don't think I can use him in game, as he's 30 year old Thunder Warrior, but I'm gonna paint him black I believe, with, I know, see, I got a bubble, I got an air bubble right there in this hole, which which is actually a uh, concurrent, congruent, uh, it's the correct era for him. I made a mistake and totally gave um, one guy the incorrect era, and uh, yeah, he looked... Not only does he look goopy, but it fell off, so... Thunder Warriors. There were 20 groups, centuries, I think. Uh, I want to say cohort, but there were, there were 100 or so. I'm going to say centuries. Nobody knows for certain, but a century had 80 guys and 80 fighters and 20 support people. So uh, I'm going to get this, I'm a, in my head cannon. The Thunder Warriors were arranged in centuries. <laughs> uh, so 20 times 8, 1600. Uh. I'm told that at one early battle, 700 Thunder Warriors perished and that they were about one third. Got some very good advice. I've been working on some scouts. The, the metal minis don't really like the that particular magnet, which is uh, very, very weak magnetic strips. This guy doesn't. I, I'm not doing any fancy bases at the moment. So, this one has an, uh, an extremely thin wash. I'm going to try to finish up in a minute and a half. Maybe I'll shut up so people can listen to music. Green saver. Oh well. Could have been worse. All right. And it's not just music. You can navigate by it. Yeah. You, I mean, you could totally turn off your eyes. Uh, I mean, close your eyes. Because uh, seeing through the warp is going to be difficult very soon anyway. And you could navigate the galaxy just, just with your ears. All right. He's got a happy wash. And uh, I had been neglecting Imperial Guard. So um, 
I've been wanting to paint these guys up a little bit better. And I figure I'm going to give them white helmets with their white shoulder pads. But I'm going to color code the individual teams. Because there's a special weapon squad's six troopers. Oh, don't look at the mold line. Six troopers. And um, three of them have, you know, in this guy's case, a flamer. Or heavy flamer. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think he has the wrong flamer, to be honest. So... Thick-ish layer of uh, that, that I can thin it out. <laughs> and um, yeah, a good trick is if you give them a really heavy wash like this, is to dry them upside down, which is easy with you know with the magnetized base and a metal lamp. So I'm going to add some more things to the soundscape. It's, it's not there quite yet. But not too much so that you're overwhelmed. I'm going to work on that. And 12 minutes. Um, thanks very much. I, I look forward to painting more of uh, this Thunder Warrior who's... His his name's coming to me. I'm not sure, but obviously he'll be he'll be in black armor. And as the Thunder Warriors were, and they weren't parodies of the Space Marines, but predecessors. He'll 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 be of the first cohort, the first century. Really happy with him. Working on it. I know. I know the the tank. I was supposed to go with the flamethrower model, but I look at some historical photos and they always have the support guy carrying the flamethrower. So, thank you very much and I'll see you next time.